let us discuss the reasons for dr ambedkar's conversion to buddhism on october 14 1956 ambedkar adopted buddhism along with lakhs of his followers in a simple traditional ceremony at diksha bhumi nagpur ambedkar's conversion to buddhism was not impulsive but a well thought decision because he had announced at a conference held at yola nasik 1935 that he was born a hindu but would not die as one speaking about the necessity of conversion ambedkar had said after giving deep thought to the problem conversion is necessary to the untouchables as self government is to india the ultimate object of both is the same that is to attain freedom and if freedom is necessary for the life of mankind conversion of untouchables which brings them complete freedom cannot be called worthless by any stretch of imagination ambedkar attended various meetings with people of different faiths and denomination and studied the teachings of different religion over two decades analyzed the pros and cons of conversion and its implication for the country's dalit population thus his quest for a morally sound religion that looked at the welfare of every human being took him to buddhism ambedkar considered converting to sikhism which opposed oppression but after meeting with sikh leaders he felt that he might get second rate sikh status in an essay titled buddha and future of his religion religion published in 1950 in the monthly magazine of kolkata's mahabodhi society ambedkar compared the personalities of founders of four religions first point the founders of christianity and islam claimed they were messengers of god whereas lord krishna called himself parameshwara but buddha never accorded himself such status second point the founders of christianity islam and hinduism claimed that they were moksha data while buddha played the role of marga data third point the founders of christianity and islam claimed that their teachings were the words of god and hence cannot be questioned similarly lord krishna was god of gods and therefore the question of going wrong did not arise while buddha in the maha parinibbana sutta told his followers not to accept his teaching as correct and binding and they were free to modify or abandon his preachings if it was found that at a given time and in given circumstances they do not apply buddha had no fear in giving liberty to his followers because he was sure of his foundation and was aware that even a violent attack will not destroy the core of his religion ambedkar compared buddhism with hinduism and pointed out its differences first hinduism is a religion which is not founded on morality while the religion of buddha is morality second point in hinduism dharma does not mean morality in any sense of the word 
it meant certain observances like yagas and sacrifices to gods while dhamma as used by buddha had nothing to do with observances but morality third point the official gospel of hinduism is inequality while buddha stood for equality according to hinduism neither a shudra nor a woman could become a teacher of religion nor could they take sanyasa and reach god while buddha admitted shudras to the bhikkhu sangha and women were admitted to become bhikshunis according to ambedkar islam stood for brotherhood of islam and was against universal brotherhood thus paternity existed but was confined only to muslims islam according to ambedkar could never allow a true muslim to adopt india as his motherland if dalits converted to islam the muslim dominance will increase muslims are divided into various denominations and caste islam supports polygamy burqa and many other inhuman practices which have caused misery to muslim women and islam provides no scope for social reform slavery have also been prevalent among the muslims according to ambedkar christians are divided into various denominations and are also divided by race by language and by caste conversion to christianity will denationalize the depressed classes if dalits converted to christianity it will help to strengthen the hold of britain on india In 1950 he traveled to Ceylon to attend a meeting of the World Fellowship of Buddhist he visited Burma in 1954 to attend the third conference of the World Fellowship of Buddhist in 1955 he founded the Buddhist Society of India Ambedkar had announced that after completing a book on buddhism he would convert to buddhism he met several times the sri lankan buddhist monk hamlawa sadatista in a public ceremony he accepted the three refugees and five percepts from a buddhist monk in the traditional manner ambedkar converted to buddhism because it met his core values of rationality morality and justice thus ambedkar did not want to betray the folds of indianness by conversion of dalits to non indian religions <laughs>